former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Mehbooba Mufti on Monday apologized for her toffee remarks, saying she was concerned for her children being pushed to rallies where they got injured. Mehbooba was widely criticized for her comment during 2016 uprising that the youth were not going to army camps and police stations to buy toffee and milk. <laughs> Former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Mehbooba Mufti on Monday invited the youth to join the People's Democratic Party saying that her party was free of garbage now while addressing her workers on the death anniversary of her father and party founder Mufti Muhammad Sayyid in Anantanag. <laughs> A severe cold wave tightened the grip over the Kashmir Valley and Ladakh on Monday as temperatures dropped several notches below the freezing point. At minus 24.8 degrees Celsius, Dras town was the coldest in Jammu and Kashmir while Srinagar recorded minus 4 degrees Celsius and Jammu city recorded 5.6 degrees Celsius. Alert border troops on Sunday evening foiled an infiltration bid in Ramgarh sector of Sama in Jammu region. BSF troops on seeing a suspicious movement fired few rounds near Fatwal post in Ramgarh sector and pushed them back to successfully foil an attempt of infiltration. Hundreds of tourists from across the country thronged Patni Top and Natha Top to enjoy snowfall on Monday. Patni Top received half a foot of snowfall on Sunday. At Natha Top, it is about one and a half feet. Enthusiastic tourists, especially youth, reached Patni Top to enjoy the snowfall. A dominant India won a historic first ever series in Australia on Monday with a 2-1 victory after play in the fourth and final test in Sydney was abandoned due to rain. In the wake of inclement weather conditions in Jammu and Kashmir, National Board of Examinations will hold a separate NEETPG 2019 examination for students facing extreme difficulty in moving from Srinagar to their designated test centre due to complete blockage of air and road transport. In its efforts to revive the disappearing Dogra cultural ethos, Team Jammu, Jammu Dogra Warriors and Jammu Heritage Society today announced to organize impressive lorry procession on January 12th. The procession that will start at 1pm from Mubarak Mandi complex and culminate at Raghunath temple is aimed at educating young generation about age-old traditions of Jammu and also to take on cultural aggression against Dogras. Stepping up his attack on the Modi government over the Rafale deal, Congress President Rahul Gandhi on Monday accused it of weakening state-run aerospace major Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and destroying India's strategic capability to benefit businessman Anil Ambani. He also alleged that while the government gave Rs 20,000 crore to the SALT Aviation, the makers of Rafale jets, even though it has not supplied a single aircraft. The Union government has cleared a 10% quota in jobs in educational institutions for the economically weaker sections among the so-called upper caste after a cabinet meeting chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Sources said the government is ready with a bill which will be introduced in Parliament tomorrow, the last day of the winter session. Fresh snowfall in the upper reaches of District Doda, including the tourist resort of Jai, Padri Meadow, has come as a boon from the heavens of winter sports and tourism-related activities in the Badawa Valley. Tourist influx has increased with the snowfall and also brought joy to the locals. Snowfall is helping to revive the groundwater, also giving the farmers a reason to rejoice. Reserve Bank Governor Shakti Kant Das on Monday said the central bank will take steps if there is a liquidity shortage in the economy, though currently liquidity needs are largely met. 
Das Humet Associations of Small and Medium Enterprises in the National Capital will meet non-banking financial companies on Tuesday to get a perspective on liquidity needs.